than that? Yeah. At most three. So we'd go back over to our column. We'd go, okay, zero hearts works. Okay. One heart works. Two hearts work. All the way to three. So we're looking at those four numbers right there. Zero, one, two, or three inclusive. So we're going to add all those things up. So 0 0.210, 0 0.367, 0.275, 0.115. Can someone add those for me and tell me what you get out of that? Point how much? Point nine seven. Hey, which game would you rather play now, huh? <laughs> which game would you rather play? You're almost guaranteed to win, right? You get at most three hearts. It's almost a guarantee to win. Now, of course, I did. I fudged the probabilities a little bit so we could use our table accurately. Uh, but still, that's a really high probability, isn't it? Of getting at most three hearts. Okay. Let's look at more than two hearts. What's the probability of getting more than two hearts? What's more than two mean? Is two included or not? Because that's basically the whole idea here. More than two. So more than two, we'd have to go, here's two, do I include that number or not? No. But I want more than two, so I do this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, I do the rest of them. So three or more. So what you understand is that more than two is the same thing as three or more. Are you guys getting that? Also the same as at least three. So add up that column, we do the 0 0.115, 0 0.029, 0 0.04, and then these are considered zero. How much is that? 0 0.148. 0 0.148. 0 0.148. So we add them. How about the less than six hearts? Less than six hearts here. What counts as less than six hearts? Five. So six is not included. So we'd have to do five or less. Oops, no, not that much. So less than six is five or less, or at most five. It's the same thing. If you add all that up, how much are you going to get? What you going to get there? Should be pretty close to 100%, like 0.999. How much? One, exactly one? Okay, so this is a little bit off because this this cannot be one, but it, it will round to one. There is some probability here, so I'm not going to put I'm not going to put one for you. If you ever get this this case and you add up and you haven't added the whole column, here's what you know about this: the whole column will equal one. There's a 100% probability you're going to land in one of these cases. However, there is some probability here, it's just rounded. In this particular case, these round in such a way that when you add them up, you get 1.00, right? So if you ever get that and you haven't added the whole column, don't do 1.00, just do like 0.9999. Give, give me an extra 9 on there. I don't know if this 9 is going to be accurate, but it's definitely not 1.00. I need you to know that. Would you raise your hand if you're okay with this so far? Now, would you like to see the way to do this on a calculator? Yes. Okay, let's do that. One of my tables. Can you see that okay? Now I kind of want to keep this zoomed in, um, so you'll have to kind of you'll have to remember what buttons that we are pressing. Firstly, where did we go to deal with the binomial distribution? Not math. We're now in 
Can you see it down there? We're in a distribution, so we're going to use second. That's what I just pressed. And distribution is right there by my finger. So we're going to press the VARS button. That brings you to your distribution. There, that'll work a little bit better. So we're looking at our distribution. Which distribution are we going to go to? That's way down here, past our chi-squared, past our t, past our f. Down here to binomial, you have two choices. You have the PDF and the CDF. Which one of them works for a single value, the P or the C? Which one? The P. The P is for a point, one single point. The C means cumulative. Add, they'll add them all up for you. You put in the information the same way, so you really need to know which case you are working on. In our case, for at least five parts, at least five parts. Which one are we working on? Are we working on a C or a P? C. Now here's the problem with this. Maybe I'll come back to this one. I want to work on a couple of these other ones first. Okay, I'll show you the at least. I'll show you the uh, more than in just a little bit. I want to show you the exactly first. Then I'm going to go through the at most, the less than. Then we'll do those other two. So let, let's work on exactly for right now. For we're going to be on the P or the C? P. Okay, for at most, we're going to be on the P or the C? C. C. For the rest of them, we'll be on the C. We'll be all on the cumulative because we're talking about at most, less than, more than, all that stuff. If it says exactly, it's the P. If it's anything else, it's the C. Now, are you okay with that? So let's do the exactly four. For exactly four, do you remember what we plug in first? So now I'm going up to the P. I'm going to highlight the zero. I'll press enter. That should be on our screen right there. What do we plug in first for that? Seven. The, not the X, it's the? Seven. Seven, what's N, what's, oh, I just gave it to you. <laughs> what's the N stand for? N stand for seven. Yeah, it's the seven, that's our N. Then we find our comma, and we put in what next? X. Not X. You put in? The probability. The probability, sure, put the probability. Probability of what? We put in this, right there. Or, if you want to do the previous example, you can do that right now. You put in 0.25 right now. Now, we're, we're, est we're we did this so we could use a table. Of course, uh, the realistic example would be 0.25. You with me on that? I want to show that to you so you know that your table doesn't work perfect in every case. Right? It's, it doesn't have everything. If this was a 0.28, you certainly wouldn't be able to use the table at all. It'd be very, it'd be off. So here are 0 0.20. We're going to use this so you can see the, the numbers do match up or pretty close to match up on this. So 0 0.20, that is our probability of success for each trial. 0.2. What's the next thing that we plug in? X. Now comes our X. So with the calculator, you do an N, then your little case letter P, and then whatever X you're looking for. In our case, what's our X, ladies and gentlemen? We're over there. Four. Four. Point zero two eight six. Is it possible for you to turn off one of those lights? Not that one. That one. That one. So with the calculator, we got point zero two eight seven. Are these two numbers the same? This one's actually supposed to be this one. It's just rounded. It's rounded more to fit on the table. Are you guys okay so far? All right, let's do the at most three parts. If you have at most three hearts, stick with me here, ladies and gentlemen. Even if you don't have a calculator, it's good to refresh your memory on how to do this. At most three hearts, are we going to be in the P or the C once again? C. So I'll go back to my distribution. I'll go down to the binomial CDF. I'll press enter on the CDF. That's the A. Did our trials change? Did our trials change? No. We still have seven. Did our probability of success for each trial change? No. We still have 0 0.20 or 0.2. Now, did the X's change? Yes. Now, you need to know what at most three means. This is what I'm talking about. Do we want to go up to three non-inclusive or up to three including three? Listen, if you want to include the three, you put the three. 
If you don't want to include the three, you put the two. Does that make sense? So we want at, let's say, where are we at? at most three. That means zero, one, two, or the three. We're going to put the three. This is going to add up to the three, including the three. And it's going to give you 0.9666. Does that round to 0.967 like your table suggests? Yes. Absolutely. Oh, show. Okay, so we got 0.9666 forever. Let's do the less than six hearts. Less than six hearts. What works for less than six hearts? Does the six work or not? Does the six work for less than six? Ladies and gentlemen, I need you with me. Does the six work? No. No. What works? Five. Five or less. One, two, three, four, or five. Zero, one, two, three, four, or five. So when you do this one, you got to go back to your distribution every time. We're still on the CDF, but I want you to watch what I'm going to do here. If we're going to do less than six, be smarter than your calculator. Your calculator doesn't really know what you mean. It just says, I know to bug a number seven point two. You got to be smarter than, than the problem in your calculator. You got to know that what I'm really talking about is five or less including the five. Less than six is five or less. Those are the same thing. So I'm going to put in not six, because that would add the six. I'm going to put in five, because I know that really the only way that I can accomplish this is zero, one, two, three, four, or five. I put in the five there. I press enter. 0 0.9996. I was a little off. Six. According to the calculator, that's what we get. Okay, I need you to raise your hand if you're okay and find what we have just found so far. Cool. Now, the next ones, we're going to do, which ones haven't we done? The more than two hearts or the at least five hearts, all right? Here's the deal. It's oftentimes a lot easier to find out a complement of this thing than the calculator. Because your calculator won't directly give you this. If you plug in 2, you know what? It's going to give you 0, 1, or 2. You've seen that, right? That's what these gave you. It's going to give you 0, 1, or 2. If you plug in 1, it's going to give you 0, 1. If you plug in 3, it's not going to give you greater than that. It's going to give you 0, 1, 2, or 3. So here's the idea. In order to use your calculator effectively, you need to understand the complement of what this is. So you need to understand that if I want more than two hearts, what we should be doing is finding the probability, what's the opposite of more At than most two three. parts? More than two. What's the opposite of more than two? At most two. At most two. One. Or less than less than three. Or at, probably at most two would be the best way to think of that. So the complement of more than two parts is at most two. Why are we doing that? Well, we know one thing about complements. Complements have to add up to what number? One minus. Let's just take this as one minus at most two. One minus at most two. Check it out. Aren't these things complements? More than two and at most two? More than two, think about more than two. Can you please think about more than two for me? What's more than two mean? Three, four, five. What's at most two mean? Zero, one, two, zero, one. Are those things complements? You're either three, four, five, six.